try to answer quickly. What allowed us to know the universe is 13.7 billion years old? The Hubble telescope. And what provided us with evidence of the existence of dark matter? The Chandra telescope. What allowed us to get a complete picture of the galactic center of the Milky Way? The Compton telescope. What made it possible to discover one of the oldest stars? The Spitzer Space Telescope. These are all NASA's legendary telescopes, or the so-called Great Observatories. And each of them explores space in a particular light spectrum. All of them have made significant discoveries, but none has ever been able to find the light of extraterrestrial civilization. And indeed, the time of these great observatories has almost passed. They were all launched between 1990 and 2003, and only two of them still continue their work to this day. It's time for a successor, one valued at more than $10 million. It's James Webb Space Telescope. NASA, together with the European and Canadian space agencies, has been preparing the web for over 20 years. And it's scheduled to be launched in December 2021. And the scientists hope that the web will prove the existence of life very close to Earth. In this video, you're gonna find out what do telescopes in origami have in common? Why would a telescope hide from the sun? And what are the web's chances of detecting the artificial lights of alien civilization? I'm Vivica Williams, and welcome to Riddle. Okay, so first off, how was the James Webb Space Telescope constructed? Well, the main advantage of the Webb is its segmented mirror, which has a diameter of six and a half meters. It's made of 18 hexagonal shaped mirror segments. Each of them is almost a meter and a half in diameter. And the total light collecting surface area of the mirror is 25 square meters. And the light collected by this mirror will enable the web to get super clear images. But for that, it must remain cold and free from the heat of the Earth and the sun. And that's why the engineers fitted the web with a massive heat shield. It's made of an aluminum coating and five layers of captain, a material for thermal insulation. The shield will protect the main mirror and the telescope's scientific instruments from heat flows and space radiation. It'll also keep the temperature of the mirror and the instruments below 100 degrees Celsius. However, the web can't be sent into space as it is because it's too big. Instead, it will be folded like origami. Like this telescope will be squeezed inside the Ariane 5 rocket in order to be transported into space. And then it will unfold and stay in space for at least five years unless it shares the remarkable fate of the Hubble, which has been working for over 30 years. But the web won't need that much time to start getting meaningful results. It's 113 kilograms lighter, yet this lightweight can see light that the Hubble can't. All right, so let's say there's a Dyson sphere rotating somewhere in the universe. Oh yeah, so a Dyson Sphere is this hypothetical aerospace engineering project where a city with a million artificial lights is built around the star that serves as the power source. And the existence of such a structure, uh, it's unlikely. But okay, if one existed, even the Hubble could detect it. But the web, the web will be able to see objects that are many times less bright and it can do it quickly. But where is the web going to look for them? Considering that telescopes are sort of like time machines, we might say that the web will travel back in time, but not literally. Like one of the telescope's tasks will be to find light from ancient galaxies that formed almost immediately after the Big Bang. 
Yeah, other telescopes also make similar observations. Like the Hubble can see the universe as it was 400 million years after the Big Bang. The Planck Observatory detected the cosmic microwave background radiation that arose 400,000 years after the Big Bang. But there's a huge gap between this and what the James Webb will have to do to figure out what galaxies looked like during the first 3% of space history. And it will also be able to do what the Spitzer was never able to do, and that is to look at the far side of the Milky Way. And these are just the approved plans, but unexpected results are anticipated as well. As what happened with the Hubble, no one ever thought that one day it would discover one of the most ancient galaxies in the universe because it existed on the very edge of what the Hubble was capable of seeing. In the Webb's case, there'll be more surprises since it's 100 times more powerful than the Hubble. It can see much dimmer light and hence the more primitive civilizations that produce it. Because we're used to imagining aliens are like-minded, highly evolved creatures. However, they could be much simpler. Let's assume they just discovered how to make and control fire. Or maybe we'll catch them at a time when they've just created some kind of gas lamp. Will the web be able to detect less visible light or even a single flash? This question is the exact reason why it was created. The web will explore the universe in the range of infrared light. That's what none of its predecessors was able to do. The thing is that the waves of light from distant stars and galaxies take so long to reach us that they become too thin. That is, they become infrared and invisible to us. Infrared light can pass through dense regions of gas and debris, unlike visible light. So the web will be able to detect where stars and planetary systems were born through massive clouds of dust. This telescope's got all the required tools to do that. To take pictures of faint objects around bright light sources, the web has the near-infrared camera. Now with its help, the web will be able to detect and explore the earliest stars and galaxies as they were being formed to analyze roughly a hundred spectra simultaneously. The telescope has the near-infrared spectrograph. Analyzing the spectrum of an object can tell us about its physical properties, like temperature, mass, and chemical composition. Another spectrograph, the mid-infrared instrument, will provide physical details about distant objects in the universe. That is, it will allow the web to detect distant galaxies and faintly visible comets. For this purpose, the web has to point in precisely the right direction and not deviate from the path. Engineers have equipped the telescope with the fine guidance sensor, an image forming device, and a scientific instrument called the Near Infrared Imager, which will help us search for traces of the first light in the universe and to explore exoplanets. Like no telescope has ever had such range and such available tools. And the web is so sensitive that it can detect the heat signature of a bumblebee on the Earth from the moon. Scientists are looking for light like somebody's hiding it. But what if the other inhabitants of the universe are waiting there with their own James Webb? Avi Loeb is a well-known cosmologist who's the director of the Institute for Theory and Computation at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. And he seriously believes the web could prove the existence of life on the planet Proxima Centauri b. Indeed, the sound signals that come from that region have made Proxima the main focus in the search for aliens. The planet is seven million kilometers away from the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. And due to its low luminosity, the star gets just enough heat to allow water to exist on the surface of the planet. Loeb believes that due to the high radiation flux, the existence of an intelligent civilization on the day side of the planet is unlikely. 
but it's quite possible on the night side. So that means the night side needs illumination. And that's why there could be alien artificial light. Astronomers, in turn, confirm that the web is perfectly capable of detecting this light. It can capture standard artificial LED lighting 500 times more powerful than it can possibly be on Earth. So the conclusion is very simple. Once someone on the dark side of Proxima lights a single LED, we'll finally know where to send the greeting cards. However, what if we're not the ones seeking light with telescopes, but the ones being sought? How far away from our planet can its light be seen? Do they have their own telescopes to spot us?